this group of ladies, uh, young women, are looking for their wounded husbands and uh, brothers. Their uh, husbands and brothers took part in the peaceful protests in January in Almaty. <laughs> One of these ladies, uh, she's uh, saying that her husband's leg uh, is injured, wounded, and uh, he had lost a lot of blood. He needs treatment. And uh, she's crying, saying that uh, she doesn't want to lose her husband and that she doesn't want her children to lose their father. Uh, we have been calling different uh, detention centers and visiting those places as well, but none of them would tell where their husbands are. Uh, this lady is saying that her husband was taken away by uh, security forces and uh, when he was taken away, he was very lightly dressed. Uh, it's winter time in Kazakhstan, uh, very cold, and uh, her husband didn't even have socks on his feet, uh, neither hat, and no warm clothes. He is a wounded person. And uh, she says that uh, she doesn't know what he's going through at the moment. They blocked us from our husbands. He lost a uh, lot of blood. He wasn't feeling his leg at the time. His leg was numb. Uh, they have arrested uh, him and uh, applying uh, 207 claws. Uh, I think 207 claws is... Uh, uh, accusation of, uh, of uh, taking part in protests. So that was her ordeal for six days. She couldn't get any information about him. She even went to the morgue looking for her husband. On the sixth day, uh, a lawyer called uh, Din Muhammad called her for a meeting. Uh, he said that uh, her husband uh, was okay and he had undergone surgery and that if he if she uh, pays him a fee of 400,000 tenge which is equivalent to about $1000 uh, he would help her to get her husband released um, he uh, he's a lawyer from uh, provided by the state or state authorized officially appointed by the government a lawyer uh, she says we don't have such a money we rent a flat uh, we have never seen such a amount of money uh, we want to other lawyers but those lawyers charged twice as much, double the amount of uh, the fee uh, of the government lawyers. Then uh, state lawyers uh, changed three times. Uh, the second lawyer said he, her husband didn't undergo any surgery, while the first one said he did uh, undergo surgery. And second one said he didn't go on any surgery, and uh, that he doesn't have warm clothes. And he advised her to bring his warm clothes, which she did, but uh, the guards at the gate wouldn't accept the uh, warm clothes that he wanted to be passed over. They refused to pass over the clothes. She stayed there from 6 o'clock morning till 6 o'clock evening. Uh, in the end, the uh, police uh, or security guys uh, 
uh, guards pushed her away with their guns and they said they were not obliged to give her any information or pass her the warm clothes to her husband. So their stories are similar. <laughs>